I want to talk to you guys about maximizing the amount of money you could earn from the Section 8 voucher program. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. This is the show where we're together one-on-one. -on -one. So if you like what you see today, what I'm doing, my man Alex, just send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you about working with us. Or if you want more info, click the show notes below. But Alex has already done that. And Alex, uh, we've done a handful of videos before, and I love your strategy. You have a freaking awesome strategy. And I think this strategy, I've always thought it was a good strategy. Don't get me wrong there. But I, I think your strategy is so much more important in today's day and age, given like what we're dealing with the COVID thing, right? Like uh, it's December 2020 right now. Uh, so like, dude, I don't know. COVID's been around like eight months, nine months. When's COVID going to end? I don't know, dude. Lockdowns, this, that, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get into this whole thing about COVID. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty COVID tired, right? Tired talking about COVID, whatnot. But your strategy, bro, in a, in a post-COVID world, it's even better, right? Your strategy is to get Section 8 properties. Throughout the years, I, I've gone more towards section eight than away right when i started this business i was doing more cash rentals than section eight rentals and the longer i've been in the game the more i gravitate towards section eight and you knew right off the bat you wanted to go section eight but you had a cool unique idea what you wanted to do is you wanted to maximize the amount of money you could earn by targeting those bigger homes four bedroom homes five bedroom homes six bedroom homes right because section eight they pay more money based upon the bedroom okay folks now i'm going to show you guys something real quick if you're curious to know about Section 8 and working with Section 8, we have a whole fact on Section 8, okay? Because Section 8, uh, it, it's difficult to work with, uh, but my team, we've we've pretty much perfected the whole deal. So we have a whole Section 8 fact on HoltonWise.com. You guys definitely want to check that out. Uh, but right here, right, this shows you HUD's fair market rents and CMHA's payment standard based upon number of bedrooms. Now, do not take this as the gospel. You do, it does not mean if someone has a four-bedroom voucher, they're always going to give you 1235 or 1358 Not the case, unfortunately. But this is uh, their payment standard. This is the most they could pay for each bedroom, okay? And what you'll see is it drastically goes up the, the the more number of bedrooms you have, right? So Alex's plan has always been to focus on the bigger houses so we could maximize the amount of rent that comes in, right? You take a home, okay? If your home has two bedrooms, guys, guess what? You got one roof, one furnace, one hot water tank, right? If you have a four-bedroom home, you're going to get a way bigger voucher, and guess what? You still have one roof, one furnace, one hot water tank. So I love it, and I love going Section 8 in a post-COVID world, guys, because guess what? You, when your tenant, if your tenant loses their job because their business, you know, it, it went out of business due to COVID or a government shutdown, they can't pay rent. Well, guess what? If they're on Section 8, that rent's guaranteed by the government. That ain't going to happen, right? So... Love it. Love it, brother. And I think this will work out good for you, man. 426 11th Street, Elyria. Been on the market for two months. Priced at 79.5. It's a nice bungalow, dude. It's a 4-2. It's a 4-2. You know I'd never show you anything under four bedrooms. That's the thing, though. Just so everyone knows, the Cleveland market, guys, we have a lot of 3-1s. A lot of 3-1s out there. Three beds, one bath. So... It's fewer inventory of the four-bedroom homes, the five-bedroom homes, the six-bedroom homes, right? So I've been working with Alex for quite some time, and I always just keep my eyes peeled. And uh, when I think a, a deal is going to make sense for him, I send it to him as long as it's big, right? I don't send my man Alex anything under four bedrooms because that's not what he's trying to do, okay? This is a nice property, bro. Uh, we don't have to do much, right? Like the kitchen it's, it's already, you know, got the newer cabinetry, right? We're just going to need to give this house a little bit of love, right? Like, 
from afar, it might even appear like it's rent ready, but it's not. Like to actually get a tenant in there and pass the Section 8 program, we got to go in and do stuff, right? Like we got to get rid of these old window treatments. We got to remove some of the junk the previous seller left. Like it looks like we got some peeling and chipped and scuffed uh, boards right there. So we got to, you know, cover that stuff, right? Section 8 and, of course, tenants. They're not going to be down with peeling paint, right? You got these random little old lady window treatments that got to go. We need to do a little bit of love to this floor, right? You see this staining, right? We got to take care of that. But other than that, it, it's nothing major, right? Just, just just minor, minor cosmetic stuff. The woodwork looks nice. The shower bathroom looks pretty good. Obviously, we'll get rid of that curtain, but the, the shower surround all looks pretty good. Everything is, is pretty nice uh, with this home. Just, just super minor stuff, okay? So with all that said, Alex, I think we need to put about $10,000 of cosmetic love into this house. They listed it at $79.5. I think we're going to try to pick it up at $70, right? It's, it's got like a little old lady vi vibe, so hopefully not a lot of people are interested in it. It's been on the market two months already. Nobody's, nobody's picked at it just yet. So let's try to get aggressive and try to get you a solid deal here, bro. Let's try to pick it up at $70, put ten into it. That's eighty k. After that, I'll be able to get you a Section 8 tenant at 11 hundo. That's 12-2 for the year of the... Uh, I'm sorry, that's 13-2 for the year, rather. Of the 13-2 that comes in, I think we'll spend 62-16 uh, of that, so a little under half. We'll bring in almost seven every year. And when I say every year, do not take me that as the gospel that we will bring that amount in every single year. We will bring that amount in every year on average. <laughs> Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Some years will be better, some will be worse, right? You take Section 8 tenants, right? They have a longer uh, average tenancy for us than cash paying tenants. So when your Section 8 tenants are in there for like two, three years, you're going to have two, three really good years. And then that fourth year when they do move out, right, that's going to be a down year because you're going to spend all the money to redo the unit and, and get it rent ready, right? So you got to know there's going to be ebbs and flows, waves, peaks and valleys in this business, guys. But these charts, right, they're your average annualized performance estimates, okay? So... 80k is the all-in cost of the investment 70 to acquire 10 to renovate it just go ahead and it's a nice property needs a little bit of cosmetic love but nothing structural or anything of that nature so let's go ahead and use a loan up front dude have you put down 17 and a half get a bank to loan you 52 and a half when i calculate your cash on cash return guys just so you know i take your clear noi so in this case it would be the 6987 and i divide it by the money you put into the property, right? So in this case, it wouldn't be just by the 17 and a half down payment. It'd be by the 17 and a half down payment plus that $10,000 of cosmetic love, which I want you to do. That would give you a cash on cash return estimate of 15.8%. You're in Elyria, solid C-class property on the west side of the greater Cleveland market. You got the four beds, you got the two baths, Alex. I think it's right up your alley relatively new housing stock when you're looking at the Cleveland market, right? Like I know if you guys are out there on the West Coast, like it seems like this is an ancient property. But for us up here in the Cleveland area, 1955 build, it's about 50 years newer than a lot of the stuff we see. And as far as like the roof, I, I believe we have uh, a, a mid a mid to end of life roof is I believe what they say. We don't have anything brand new here just uh mid to end of life but i think with the price point and uh, the amount of rent we can get here nice stable investment i think this will be a solid deal and it fits right in with your investment plan and what i really like is i think it'll be pretty much covid proof and the cool thing is alex i got one more property very similar to this one i'm going to film a video for that for you right now Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.